Hi, everybody. Um, another week, another live chat show. Um, <laughs> sorry, wasn't prepared. Uh, this show brought to you by Krispy Kreme. Four donuts gone, two donuts to go. Also, partly by Doritos. No, they are not official sponsors. Um, unofficially advertising for them, hoping that they'll notice and catch on to them. Now, um, as you notice, there wasn't a video that I did last week. I just wasn't prepared. I didn't have anything going on. I wasn't sure what to actually talk about or do. Um, so I just didn't have a show. Tonight I do have a show, and this time I have my girlfriend with me. This is Teresa Hale. Say hi. Say it. Hi. Yeah. Just because you got... Pepsi in your mouth doesn't mean you can't say hi. So these are our guests. Give them your undivided attention. Now, <laughs> as before, I tried to do it before, but I didn't have anybody do it. I do have Magic Jack, and it does allow me to take calls on my computer, which you will be able to hear live on this uh, broadcast. So if you want to, just go ahead and call this number that I have below. And uh, you'll be able to talk with me live and talk with my girlfriend live. Now, tonight I'm not doing any demos. I My paints are still packed in the car. I haven't pulled them out from doing the workshops that I had this uh, past weekend in Erie, Pennsylvania. And um, I'm just, uh, I thought I'd talk to my girlfriend, Teresa, and um, relay some, maybe some questions that you may, you might have. And... Um, have her answer some. She's very new to face painting. She's actually coming with me to the Face and Body Art International Convention in uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and she's going to be learning a lot of stuff. Unfortunately, and um, I know I've talked to them before about this, but I haven't seen any changes. If you've noticed the schedule for uh, Fabaic, there's really nothing beginner there. It's mostly intermediate to advanced. Uh, the most beginner classes you have are the kids' classes. So with her going with me, um, she's going to get a lot more out of the jams than she will out of the actual classes. Now, she'll probably be taking some marketing classes and some stuff like that, um, mainly to help me out with my business. But other than that, you know, I mean, what kind of face painting classes can she take if she's not even up to par yet? She's getting there. She's practicing with me. She's learned a lot, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. she knows how to put a base down. She knows how to do swirls and teardrops and curls and, you know, stuff like that. It's putting them all together that she's having a hard time with um, around the shape of the face and stuff to make it look really nice. But, you know, things like that happen. Mm. Well, I'm glad to see I have more viewers tonight than I did uh, the past two uh, videos I did combined. Um <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but so uh, let me tell you a little bit about uh, the workshops that I just gave in Erie, Pennsylvania. I have only given before these two other workshops and they weren't the best in the world. I'm still a beginner when it comes to doing workshops, but I have a lot to give just like this weekend. I did do an animal print workshop on the first day, and it went off pretty good, but I think I went into it a little bit too much. Um, I had a great time. Everybody learned a lot. They had a great time with it. Um, you can see the pictures on my uh, Catman Do business page on Facebook. Um, the next day, I did tribal, and it was supposed to be a full-day tribal class, but I can't do tribal all day long without it being redundant. So they were requesting zombies so i said okay let's do zombies so as you see with the pictures on my catman do facebook page there's zombies and it's just <clears throat> it was fun to do two different things so i gave um the tribal in the morning and then after lunch we did you know the whole thing erie pennsylvania is a really nice town it is very eerie it's weird but that's just me. So if you ever visit Erie, Pennsylvania, and you get the Erie vibe, it's not just me then. So, 
But the people there are wonderful. They're great. I had a great time. I stayed over at uh, one of the students' houses, um, and they were very kind and considerate. One of the other students made dinner for me and my um, host that evening, uh, Saturday and Sunday. They were just incredible people. So, uh, yes, Doritos, Tal. Um, <laughs> Would you like one? Here, I'll email it right over to you. <coughs> ah, I guess. Ah, dry throat. Also brought to you by my favorite 84 cent two liter drink from Walmart, Mountain Lightning. See if Walmart will be able to lighten their pockets a little bit and send me some sponsorship. Yeah, like that's going to happen. So, with my rambling in the past six minutes, um, get into a little bit of sort of a Q&A with my girlfriend so you can get to know her a little bit better. So, this is my girlfriend. Ain't she pretty? She loves it when I torture her. Why <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm not worried about my phone. My my phone yells at me because I have the Simpson tap out game on it, and it says, "Hey, come play with me." And you know, it woke us up like at two o'clock in the morning one night. It was hilarious. So, I'll just put that to the side. Hopefully, I won't get any calls. So, this is my girlfriend Teresa Hale, and um, how long have you been face painting? months speak up about six months about six months and what can you do um basing basic lines can you do butterflies somewhat can you do cats no why not i have trouble doing it around the face can can you guys hear her okay let me let me know Put it in the chat if you can. Um, give me a call if you want. Talk live. I'll try to chat with you if I can. So, what's your favorite thing to paint? Ah, got a call. Okay. Hello? Let me turn up my volume. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hold on. Can you hear me? Hello? Are you still there? Sounds ringing. Hello? Hi, Danny. This is Miss Selena from the Bahamas. Hey, what's up, Selena? I'm good. I'm watching you live. <laughs> so, uh, can you hear yourself on the other end? I, I kind of. I, I'm trying to get away from the computer. I wanted to put you on the spot and find out are you considering coming to my show this year? I am considering it, but as always, I have to get my passport and I've lost my birth certificate, which I know I can get from my state. Um, now with different laws and different things in action in the United States, it's a little harder to get it right off the bat. Um, I'm looking into it. If I can, I will try to make it out there. If not, 
Um, I'll probably have to wait till next year. You need a tan. You need the tone. I got a tan. Compared to my girlfriend, I'm tan. I'm. You don't have a tan. You have a hair dye, and you can bring your girlfriend. That's not a problem. <laughs> and this is not hair dye. It's bleach. You can't dye blonde unless you dye it another color. My show is November. Think about it. You have like, like seven months. Six months? Yes, I do. I gotta also make sure that my bills are paid and everything else at that time too. Um, I know. I'm, I'm sure that takes priority. However, we've been discussing this for three years now. I know we have. Mm -hmm. You you can beat me up are at. You going to Fabeg? Yes, I am going to Fabeg. You can beat me up there about it. Oh, you can go there, <laughs> but you can't go to the island. Because <laughs> it's closer, and I don't you have to have a passport. I don't have to have a passport. <laughs> How much is the passport? Well, it's not the cost of the passport. It's getting the passport in time for it. Okay, I'll let you get by this time. I may school over for Fabiac, maybe Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I hope to meet your beautiful girlfriend. Oh, you will. She'll be there. She'll be there. She'll and, be my model. I'll, I'll teach her how to paint. There you go. It's just the placement of the face, and she hasn't, you know, she hasn't been practicing as much as she would like to, uh, but, you know, things happen, and she's switched jobs, and there's been problems here and there, and she has to watch, you know, the dog really and the cat. Wish that she would practice on you right now, live. Yeah, no, not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, while I'm discussing something serious, she's turning this side of my face into something. Uh, anyway. Well, thanks for calling, Selena. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. And yes, we will see Selena in May. So, um, just as simple as that was, if you give me a call, I'll answer it. Uh, sorry about the problem right there. I, um, I had a problem with my computer. I didn't think I was going to be able to get it up in time, but luckily I was. Uh, I reinstalled my Windows 8 because of some issues and had to reinstall everything back into my computer so luckily I got my magic jack back up I just had to adjust the settings for instead of you know phone settings it's on other settings so now it actually comes through the uh, computer and you'll be able to hear it live on the other end um, hopefully you guys heard it so uh, back up in viewers that's really great uh, does anybody else have any questions or want to call up and ask any questions? Um, does anybody else want to call up and uh, uh, beat me up for not being at a place that I should be at? <laughs> you know? She beats me up when I'm still down here on the computer and she's up in bed. Oh, another call. Hello? Hi, Dale. Hi, who's this? Hi. This is Belinda. Belinda. How's it going? I'm doing fine. How are you guys? We're doing great. Great. Hey, this question. For starting out, and this is just um, kind of what I've done as uh, for the last couple of years, um, I've been, I, I feel guilty sometimes, but as an apprentice, let's say you hire a student to work with you for larger events. Do, should I feel guilty paying them ten dollars under the table? <laughs> no. An hour. <laughs> um, it all depends on how well they work and stuff. Uh, if they really know their stuff, if they know how to face paint, if they're as good as you or better to help out with you at an event and stuff like that, I would try to work it out to where they get paid a little bit more than that you know at least 25 yes. an hour um if exactly. they're if they're below you ten dollars an hour is not bad to start off with that's already over uh minimum wage even if you were to and actually that's what i was kind of thinking know. sometimes like i said i feel a little bit guilty about it but then i let them split all the tips 
you know, and, and take all the tips. Right. So, and here's the other thing. Don't think of it as paying them under the table. Whenever you hire okay. somebody to help you out with an event, do it as an independent contractor. You can actually make a contract saying that you have to provide for your own taxes and everything else. I am paying you okay. this fee to help me out, but you have to provide your own taxes to the system. It's an independent contractor. Okay. Um, they're working for you, but they're working independently. If you know what I mean. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So, and then you can actually pay them less if you want. Pay them five bucks an hour if they're really bad. <laughs> well, I actually have some really good girls, and I'm hoping to empower a few, actually. Um, I'm big on teaching young girls to be very, very independent so that they don't have to, no offense, Daniel, but, you know, no, so that they don't have to depend on a on a man to pull them through tough times financially. But um, so I think I'm, you know, trying to teach them a trade they can take with them, especially through colleges. And so they can have more of a filet mignon while the other students are having ramen noodles. <laughs> well, of course. And I completely agree with you. I don't think a woman should ever be dependent on a man whatsoever. Um, <laughs> she's not dependent on me. I'm not dependent on her. We're both individuals living in the same place. She can go at any time. She wants. She has a place to go. I have. I can. And definitely, I didn't mean to bring that so. up as a totally different subject, but I just. Oh no, you know. <laughs> no. But I totally agree with you, and especially with the kids nowadays. If they're going to college or if they're doing this and that, they don't have any money unless you know it's like what we see on TV. They're spending daddy's money on you know drugs, alcohol, parties, this and that. Um, nowadays, the kids really don't have any money after tuition and you know, having to buy their books and uh, everything else, dorm costs and stuff like that. Having uh, exactly. face painting as a supplemental income is really great. There's a lot of college football teams. There's college events going on where the actual college will pay you to be at these events. So, you know, they can make money on the side and they can actually pay off their whole college with, you know, doing this if they do it right. Exactly. And, and even, you know, take it further into their own business if they choose to. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, always All expand, right. always get above that. But, no, um, depending on the quality of work they do, I would say $10 is the minimum. I wouldn't go above $25 um, unless they're really, really, really good. Like, you know, you got Mark Reed to, you know, work with you. <laughs> right, then it, then they can go out on their own at that point, right? Right, pretty much. Because <laughs> I know right. I wouldn't be able to well, hire Mark you. Reed, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Daniel. Oh, no problem. Thank you for calling, Belinda. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Bye. So that was another great call. Anybody else want to try it out? See how it works? Um any questions you have for me? Um, oh, uh, I'm having a question here. Actually, it's not a question. It's a statement. Uh, live stream doesn't work very good on iPad. Well, I'm not much of an Apple fan, so um, if you're trying to watch this on the iPad, you would have to go into the support of live stream and see what their issues are with it. Or maybe there's a driver that has to be downloaded or something uh, needs to be worked out with it. Um, I'm not really sure. So uh, I don't keep up with Apple products. I don't care about Apple products. Uh, I love my PCs and my Windows and my Linux and my stuff that I can advanced customize. Um, so And I like stuff that I don't have to pay 99 cents for on a daily basis doing things so um, unfortunately I don't know what's going on with uh, the iPad and if you're trying to watch it on your iPad uh, maybe you should go out and get an Android tablet I know it works there um, <laughs> quit laughing you're not supposed to be laughing at these people don't talk to me watch oh, ow, ow. <laughs> she's very ticklish but um <laughs> all right so um, those were two interesting calls. Uh, I love Selena. She is the sweetest person in the whole world. 
Uh, she lives in the Bahamas. This is her third year she's doing a show. This is the third time she's tried to get me to go. Um, I really need to get off my butt and get my passport and get over there and do some things. Uh, the best way I can say to even uh, get me anywhere is if you want me to give a workshop or you want me to be at an event or something like that, um, the easiest way to do it is to find a sponsor. Uh, get a if it's a big event in your area, get a couple of the businesses to you know sponsor me to be there, and I'll actually advertise those businesses too. Uh, that's one great way of doing it. Um, you know, if uh, the Atlantis Hotel in um, the Bahamas, I think that's it. I'm, I'm not sure. Selena will beat me up if I got it wrong. But if the Atlantis Hotel wants to sponsor me, that's no problem. They can pay to you know have me there, and I'll do my stuff. But uh, they've got some really great artists there anyways, and Mandy Eileen Schiff is really awesome. She's been there two years running now. Um, pretty sure she's going to be there again this year. Uh, if you want to see some hot, muscular African-American bodies or African-Jamaican or bah Bahamian or whatever, I'm going to get myself into a racial uh, uh, problem soon. If you want to see some hot, dark skinned bodies, go to her show in November. <laughs> she needs to she needs to put it on the internet live so everybody can see this. I mean, if you've seen the pictures, it's incredible. So, but I'm not gay. I'm straight. I just know a hot body when I see one. And um, I know that sounds kind of weird, especially on my website. Okay. So then Belinda calls up and <laughs> we um, talk to her about, you know, the pay arrangements and stuff like that. Um, I could probably go into uh, more depth on that, but I think I pretty much covered it with hers. So you got anything to say? No. 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 She's just over here as eye candy for me. She's usually my model. If you've seen, um, I've done uh, quite a bit of body paintings and stuff on her, uh, some back paintings. I used her for my Valentine's Day advertisement. Um, she's also my marshmallow queen. Um, <laughs> if you saw those pictures, she hates me for that. She's going to get even with me one of these days for it. I don't hate you but, for that. Okay, she says it now because she's live on the air. That's why she says she doesn't hate me. Wait until the camera gets turned off. See what she says then. Yeah. But, um, no, she loves to be painted. And um, we're actually uh, doing a uh, finally quit her really bad job party next week. And uh, we're going to do black light painting down in the basement. So it's not really a basement. It's a garage. But, you know, it's below here. So, we're going to do that, and that's going to be pretty fun. I'm going to bring over a lot of friends and everything. So, And that's next Wednesday. So um, if it happens, because it's supposed to start at 7 o'clock, I'm still going to do a live show, but we're going to start you know, the party at the same time. And if everything goes right, if I can do it and I can talk everybody else into it, maybe I'll stream the whole party live and record it so you can watch it at your own <laughs> leisure. Now... There will be um, viewer warnings that there might be some alcohol involved, smoking involved, bad language, and um, anything else. But here's what I want to emphasize on this point. Even if there's cussing, even if there's smoking, even if there's alcohol, these are things that happen in normal life anyway. Um, this does not happen when I'm working. This is my own time that I'm doing this. Uh, I want to be professional in this and that's why I am giving you the warning. But I also want you to see the fun side that we have. Adults drink. Adults sometimes smoke, you know, smokers, non-smokers, you know, adults cuss. Uh, your kids are not exempt from this. It happens all the time. It happens in school. It happens on on the street when you're walking around 
It happens in the car when you are driving down the road and you get cut off by a person. Yes, the kid in the back seat did hear you cuss at that person. So, with that in mind, I want to let you know that um, if I do do a live show, well, I am doing a live show, but if I can, I'm going to show the party. Um, cannot guarantee the kind of language or anything else that's going to come out of mine or anybody else's mouth. So, um, thanks, Tal, for stopping by. Um, it was great to hear from you, too. Uh, yes, see you in Florida. So, um, uh, what else can I say? Um, I don't know. I still got a half an hour left. Come on, let's get another phone call in. Come on, I still got seven viewers online. Who wants to call? Who wants to chat? Who else is online? Um, I can see the number of viewers, but I cannot see you if you're not talking in the chat. So, um, other than that, uh, see um what else can I say ah brain fart <laughs> not sure what to talk about now um how to promote yourself well I can talk about how I how to promote yourself, but um, that's pointless without visualization, and I don't have my visuals with me to show you how to promote yourself real well. Um, I guess the easiest thing I can tell you is, <coughs> if you notice my website, and if you've seen my banners on my Facebook business page and the photos, and you've seen my Twitter account, and you've seen my live stream account, and you've seen my business cards, they all have the same thing. They all have tiger stripes in the background. The logo is pretty much the same on everything. Um, may not be held up by a painted model, but my logo is constantly the same. Everything should be about the same uh, when you're promoting yourself through uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Google+, whatever, your website. Make it all the same. Um, it just is so much easier. Uh, my YouTube, even my Facebook business page, the cover photo at the top is, you know, Tiger Stripe has my logo on it. Everything, you know, that way people will recognize it. Uh, make sure that you market yourself to a um, to benefit yourself don't ever get taken advantage of by anybody okay um, I used to do churches for free I don't anymore uh, they were actually giving me blessings in the form of checks and I thought well if they have the money to give me a check or a blessing at the end they have the money to pay me for the event now, I do do something for them. Um, any nonprofit organization, church, or school, I usually do a 50% discount on my normal $100 rate, $100 an hour rate. Um, yes, I'm shy. Yes, she is shy. But it's okay. We're going to break her out of her shell. Um, give her a little bit of wine, and she'll start to whine. So, um, <laughs> as I was... I almost lost my train of thought. Um, so as far as the marketing goes, I lost my train of thought. Um, Church events, doing them for free. What you do is nonprofit. <laughs> You're having your wine. That's good. I'm having mine. It's called Mountain Lightning, non-alcoholic wine.
fine because it tastes so fine. Excuse me there. <laughs> Actually, I think it has less sugar and it's not fermented either. <laughs> ah. So what was I talking about with marketing? What was the last thing I... Nonprofits with 50-50. Oh, yeah. Nonprofits, um, schools, and churches. I do a 50-50 um, or I do a 50% off when they hire me. Um, I do that because, yes, there are a lot of lower income families and stuff, and they may not have a lot of money, especially the school systems and some nonprofits. Um, other than that, I also do a little thing where I do paper face, uh, where I will actually charge, and then 50% I will give to them. Now, everybody says that seems like a high amount of money to be given away. Well, as long as I'm covering my cost, and I'm doing this for a nonprofit organization that's actually doing something, I have no problem parting ways with 50% of my income. It's usually not that much anyways. I'm not out there making, you know, two, $3,000 at these events. I'm making probably possibly at the most about $150 at a nonprofit event. Um, I charge my normal rates of 5, 10, and 15. Uh, now, some events that I do that are nonprofit, yes, I can make quite a bit of money, but then they make quite a bit of money too. So I pretty much cover my cost and everything else like that. I have no problem with it. But don't ever do anything for free unless they are willing to work on your terms. You lay down the terms of what you want if you're going to do something for free for another place. Like say if a school wants you to do something for free, well, then they're going to have to do some stuff for you for free. You know, I mean, it's, you know, you give and you get. You're pretty much bartering. You're bartering services. Um, if you're doing an event and they want you for free, you know, make sure that you're in all their uh, promotional material and stuff. Um, make sure that you have a tent supplied. You have a table and a chair and everything else. Everything needs to be provided for you. All you need to do is you need to come out with your paints and that's it. They should have everything else if they want you for free. They need to supply everything. They need to put your logo and your advertisement into their pamphlets, flyers, postcards, business cards, whatever they're using to promote that event. Even on TV, they need to have you on there saying that, hey, such and such is going to be there, you know, and uh, just don't let them take advantage of you because too many people are being taken advantage of. Also, in your area, always make sure that you try to Find the other face painters in the area, the newer ones, and make sure you're all on the same page as far as price because there's a lot of people that are undercutting others, and that just seems wrong to me. Um, nobody should be undercutting anybody. If $100 an hour is too much for what you do, then, you know, yeah, let them let them go to a person that does it for fifty or twenty dollars an hour and does crap work. I'm sorry, you get what you pay for. So, you know, everybody should be about on the same lines. I know there's people that do eighty dollars an hour with a two hour minimum, so that's guaranteed hundred and sixty bucks there. But how much, you know, did you travel? You know, did you have to bring all your stuff? Uh, how long did it take you to set up and everything like that? I mean, the money is not just for, you know, the time you do, but for everything that you do during the painting. They're not just hiring a painter. They're hiring, you know, a professional. And I even have that on my website if you haven't seen it. It's under the services page. I have my hiring a face painter sheet that I um, kind of copied from John Place. So, you know. Can you tell me the top 8 to 10 designs for girls, boys at festivals, events? Yes. Cat. Dog. Butterfly. Skull. Spider-Man. Vampire. Lizard. And what's the other one? I design. That's 8. Um, if I was to go 2 more, it would be... Um, what would it be? It would be Princess and uh, 
Princess and zombie. Zombies. Zombie. Because, you know, zombies are really big right now. So, um, don't ask me to go through that again. You can watch it over. You can... <laughs> you can go back. <laughs> but, um... Because uh, this is being recorded. As I said, you'll be able to watch this uh, again if you want. So, those are the 8 to 10 designs that I can think of that I do the most of. I mean... Um, in fact, whenever I go out to an event, like I'm doing a Cinco de Mayo event this weekend. In fact, I'm doing it on Friday and Sunday um, at this one place called El Patio. And I'm not going to have a display board out. I'll have my tablet out so that they can look at some of the pictures. And all my pictures have uh, <coughs> prices on them. And I actually have that on my computer here. This one right here. This computer. Um, I also have it on my tablet and my phone. So when I go into an event and I need to reference a picture or something like that, which I really shouldn't have to do because I already know what I want um, or I already know what I'm doing. And, okay. Come on, phone. <coughs> new apps, new problems. Wait. What are you doing? Um, let me see here. Quick pitch. Now I'm trying to pull up on my phone here. Uh, you'll see in just a second. This is how I have my setup now. Um, I have 81 pictures, and they all have prices next to them. These are the same ones I have on my tablet and the same one I have on my computer with the touch screen. All they have to do is swipe, and they can look through all of them and see the prices. Of course, it starts off with $5 designs, and it works its way up. And... You know, I also have, you know, full faces. They start off at 15. And as you see, they can just scroll through and they can take a look at all my designs and everything. And then I have this as reference if I need to. They want it exact, which I tell them I never do anything exact. So, um... No, it's not an app for them to download, but uh, is what I did do is I did place it on my website, so um, I got to convert it over to um, the mobile website, but if they're on, like at home and they want to see my prices and stuff, on the front page, on the very first page, my home page, they can click a link that takes them to my festival photos with the prices on them, and they can take a look at all these 81 photos themselves. And they can, you know, um, right-click, save it to their phone. They can take a picture of it with their phone. They can bring it with them whenever they come to an event, and they can, <coughs> they can um, just show it to me there, and I'll say, yeah, yeah, I can do that, no problem. Um, <coughs> oh, I don't know why it's so dry in here, but oh, oh, back to the Cinco de Mayo. Um, yeah, other than having the phone, uh, program there, which I think an app would be a good idea to have, um, I only give them a list of things to do, uh, and I don't write the list down. I don't make a flyer or anything. The only thing I have out is my table with my paints, my chair, and I have a banner, which says face painting and, you know, has my information on it. Um, I do have my stand-up banner there, too. The reason I don't want to have a list of things, you know, displayed is that I want them to decide on the spot or to talk to me so that I can get to know them better and make it more of a personal experience. So, you know, I've already got, um, at this place, I will have a couple of the staff already painted, sugar skulls, you know, um, little 
red chili peppers and, you know, different things like that. I'll have their faces painted. So they'll already be advertising on the inside of the business and a little bit on the outside of the business. Um, I always set up on the outside so that I'm not crowding the inside and not causing problems for other people. Um, the easiest thing to do is, you know, when they go, well, what can you do? Give them the basics that everybody wants. Those eight to ten designs that I just gave you, you know. Tell them, yeah, we can do cats, we can do dogs, we can do princesses, we can do butterflies, zombies, fairies. You know, just give them a whole bunch that you can do. And let them know that no two people are ever the same, so nobody's ever going to get the same design. Unless they're Spider-Man, you know, or Iron Man, you know. Not much you can do to change it unless you change the color. Um, but no two designs are ever the same. So, you know, make it more personal. Make it for them. Um, that's just the way I do it, and that's how I've been making my money at doing this and how I've been surviving off of uh, doing my face and body painting. Um, other than that, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, you got any ideas? No. 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 She's got the warning. She's, uh, you can go blind from her awesomeness mm -hmm. shirt. You can go blind from that shirt just being outside in the sun. Jeez. Or a black light. Uh, or a black light, yeah. You gonna wear that next Wednesday to the party? No. Golly. Of course not. It's all gonna be body painting. <laughs> it's all gonna be black light. How am I going to do that? I don't know. I'll have to take my laptop downstairs and record from down there. <laughs> People come to some of our sessions. Sometimes. Yeah, but um, luckily, I can have two different cameras going at the same time. So I can switch back and forth from downstairs to upstairs, depending on what's going on and stuff. So that'll be interesting to see. Um, it'll pretty much, next week won't be a... Um, Let's, how, how do I put it? Next week will be more of a test. It's not actually going to be recorded. So it's going to be something a little bit different. <coughs> so um, don't expect to see any replays from it. But, um, yeah, we're going to try something out a little bit different and see how it goes. So come join us, uh, party with us on your end, drink. Cuss, swear at the computer if you want. Um, pull out your black lights and paints and have some fun with it. Um, yeah. Um, down here in the chat, Dara just brought up the fact that uh, I put my um, I put my black lights onto stands. I have light stands that were for my. Uh, backdrop and everything and I kind of modified them to where I can actually I zip tied my um, I've got to fix them up I got to get new zip ties for them but I actually zip tie my black lights to the stand so that I can put them up and they can stand in corners and you can adjust the height on them and different things you can also uh, when you're doing pictures and stuff and you want to get a face painting or a body painting just right you can bring them about this close to the face. And when you take a picture, you just put that camera right there. It's not going to capture the light like you think it will. It's actually going to capture more of the face detail. So you can be really close without having the lights caught in your camera. And uh, it really makes for some great effects. And that's how I get a lot of my photos for my black light. Um, uh, now, lighting equipment is a little expensive. Uh, you might... Uh, see about doing something with uh, um, I don't know uh, portable stands or something like that if you can find some cheap portable stands that's one thing uh, but lighting stands are pretty expensive to begin with um, other than that I don't know uh, Dara says she uses black electrical tape and that works well electrical tape is good I use um, zip ties because I haul them around so much and stuff like that I don't want the tape you know falling off or getting sticky or you know this or that 
Um, if it works, it works. Uh, I just don't like using tape. Tape is temporary. And after a while, it'll start to slide and stuff like that and, you know, get real sticky and gooey. But that that's just me. It also depends on where you're at <laughs> and how hot it is. Um, uh, oh, if you haven't heard, uh, I think I talked about it in my last live show. Um, I will be at the East Coast Convention in January 2014 um, teaching three classes there. I'm doing a beginner 101 for face painting. Now, if you've ever gone to the East Coast or you've ever taken one of Gary Cole's classes, which is Face Painting 101, he goes into his side on how he does face painting. I do with the beginners. I catch you up to be, I want you to be at the intermediate level by the time you're end, done with my class. I want you to go out there and start doing really great work. And that's why I'm doing a beginner class, not a just a face painting 101 mine is beginner class it's going to go into everything you need to really make your stuff pop as soon as i'm done with the class and it's only about an hour and a half long so i'm also doing um my animal print workshop which i'm working on and revising and going to come up with some really awesome uh designs you can use using animal prints for everyday use in fact and I will also be doing a black light class at the East Coast Convention. Now, I will be giving a animal print and the black light class at the Art of Body Experience in November if it still happens. I'm not saying it won't. I'm not saying it will. I'm staying neutral in this position. I'm supposed to be an instructor. Um, I hope it does go on. I hope there's lots of people that show up and it turns out to be a really great convention that just, you know, had some problems in the beginning. Um, but I will be giving uh, the animal print and probably the UV class at the Art of Body too in uh, Asheville, North Carolina. Um, we'll just have to see how that happens. And in April of next year, um, I'm still looking, getting um, instructors, uh, looking for instructors, trying to get contracts made up, looking for sponsors. I'm putting together my own get-together slash jam slash convention here in Bristol, Virginia. Um, have some really great ideas for that, too. So look out for more information on that. You can find out uh, about the group and about the convention. Uh right off of my Facebook business page. And uh, once I get the website up for that, I will, you know, let you know. Um, don't have a cost of how much registration is going to be right off the bat, but I'm pushing for under 100 bucks to be at my convention slash get together. Also, we're going to um, probably be doing like a uh, face painter swap, face painter uh, supply swap at the convention, which means if you have something that you really don't like, and another face painter has something that they really don't like, um, you can swap it out, barter it out, you know, trade off and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to have a special setup for that too. So, because I know there's certain things people don't like and they want to get rid of, but they don't want to throw it out. And then somebody else comes along and they have something they don't like, but maybe you do. And, um, you know, that's just something there so you can get rid of some of your stuff and gain some new stuff that you probably didn't even know existed or that you really wanted in the first place um lots of different things going on right now um i don't know i'm pretty much rambling <laughs> was there any other questions no Anybody want to call? Anybody want to talk to me? Phone number right there on the screen. You can just dial that number right there. I think it's right there. Am I right? It's right underneath my finger. Right there. Yeah. Oh, 
Finger down too far. Finger up. Right there. Is that it? <laughs> so. But. Okay, we got 10 minutes left in the show. And if I don't get a call in the next two minutes. Okay, I got a question instead. What paints do you use? From Sam. Paints do I use? I use Tag, Chameleon, Wolf, Fab, Snazaroo, Paradise, um, sometimes Krylon. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't use any Ben Nye. Haven't really had a use for it. Um, I use all paints. Whatever I can get my hands on. Um, I started doing sort of like what Nick and Brian do with their paints. As I get a new paint, um, say I run out of my fab yellow and all I can get is like um, wolf or tag or chameleon or Krylon or something. I'll buy a yellow that matches close to what I had and I'll just shove it into that container. Um, just use what you got. <coughs> Uh, my girlfriend's name is Teresa. Teresa. Um, if you missed it in the show, in the beginning of the show, her name is Teresa Hale. She is a beginner face painter. And um, she's going to be coming with me to the Face and Body Art International Convention in Fort Lauderdale. So you'll be able to meet her there too, harass her, teach her, get her caught up in face painting. She's trying to do it with me, but we're both procrastinators. She hasn't been practicing as much as she should, but she is learn. She is a fast learner, and if you can give her some techniques, some hints to get her going even better, she will. She'll pick it up really quick and easy, and then she'll forget it the next day. So you have to remind her. It will not. <laughs> as soon as I get off the air, I'll have a black eye and a bloody nose. But you know, other than that. <laughs> But, uh, do you want to learn henna, too? Um, I thought about it. I'm not, I don't know. I've thought about henna. Oh, well, I do a little bit of henna. Um, I haven't pulled it out only because I'm constantly doing the face painting, so I really don't have a need to do henna right now because I'm making money doing my other thing. Um, <clears throat> probably going to pull it out this summer during uh, Bristol's Border Bash that I'll be at and um, just do it at night, you know, for some people because it does get kind of slow there. Um, it's mostly locals. It's not out of town people. So um, I have to, you know, give them something new, something pricier that they'll actually pay for. And since I do take credit card, that shouldn't be a problem um, because most everybody has a debit card. Um, Dara, do you you do henna, right? Am I correct? So just type it in the chat. Yes. Okay, so well um are you going to you're going to Fabaic, right? Yes, no. Okay. Um We'll have to get together, and is what I'll do is um, I'll trade off some time, maybe at a jam or something like that. Uh, you teach us some of your henna, and I'll teach you uh, some really great techniques for face painting. And, you know, my girlfriend will be there too. So uh, we can use her as a model. <laughs> you you can henna her arms and show me what to do. and uh, then I'll paint her face and she'll look really goofy at the end of the night. So <laughs> you're down. <laughs> All right. So we got that worked out. Um, I'm telling you people, uh, here's the biggest thing I have right now with the face and body art <laughs> international convention. Um, some instructors that have been there for years are not going to be there this year. A lot of people are complaining. Guess what? Get over it. Why? You need to make room for new people. 
These people can't be instructors every single year. That gets monotonous and boring. You got to open the doors and allow newer people to come in and show what they can do. Daryl Lytle is going to be there uh, doing henna. Um, we have Dutch Bahari, who is from the West Coast, you know, from Seattle, coming all the way here to be an instructor in Fort Lauderdale, all the way across the country. That's thousands of miles from his location. You know, we have other instructors who are brand new who are going to be doing stuff. I'm not instructing there. I don't care if I instruct there or not. If they want me to instruct, they'll ask me. If they don't want me to instruct, they won't ask me like they haven't for years. So, And I'm not worried about it. I go. I have fun. I learn from everybody there. Um, I don't go just for one person. That's okay. So you've got a fan base. Uh, somebody's got a fan base. You, you're totally in love with these people. You're in love with Nick and Brian, so you have to go to all their conventions uh, that they're going to attend. You have to go to all their workshops. Same thing with Pasher. Same thing with Jay. Same thing with Mark. How much can you learn costly over and over, or are you just going because you like these people? That's great. You are supporting them very well, and they are not going to complain about it whatsoever. You're doing great to support them. <coughs> New people come in that are really great and excellent, and they do a great job. Just because your favorite person is not going to be there doesn't mean you should give up on the convention or anything that's going on. That's just a gripe that I have. That's just a complaint that I've heard a lot about recently. Because certain people weren't going to be there, those people canceled on going or want refunds or this or that or anything else from a convention. Um, in fact, there are complaints about, well, if this person teaches, I'm not going to go because I don't like that person. Guess what? Get over it. There are people that I don't like, but if they give a class, I will take it. Why? Because I'm going to benefit from it. Whether I like this person or not, they have knowledge that I don't have on a certain subject that I need help with. So I'm going to take their class. I don't have to like the person to benefit myself in my career. I guess that's just one big thing that I um, don't like about the face and body painting community is the drama that's in there. And the drama needs to end. It's not about you. It's about the customers. It's not about the person next door who does face painting better than you, so you got to destroy their business. Who cares? It's about the customers. You know? If you're not doing something to make that money, it's on you. Not on everybody else. It doesn't matter about everybody else. Okay, so this person wants to destroy your business because they have a grudge out for you. Guess what? Suck it up. Move past that. You can get past these people who try to destroy your name. Know why? Karma. Karma is really great at taking care of those problems for you. Because people are going to see them for who they truly are. Do it. Mm, excuse me. Do what you got to do. Get on with your business. Get on with your life. Move it to a different area if you have to that's around you. I know things are hard at some time. Maybe you have to get a second job. Maybe you can't do this as a full-time job. Maybe it's just a hobby for you. But quit the drama. I'm tired of it. Everybody else is tired of it. And I know one thing is, you guys hate it when I rant about it. So if you don't want me to rant, if you don't want me to say something that will make somebody else feel stupid because they probably think I'm talking about them, that's how vain they are, then quit the drama. We don't need it. Okay? I mean... <laughs> so... Huh. Your brother's online. No, I just smiled for him. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even see that as I was going on. And we got 30 seconds left, so... I'm going to cut off my ticker or my little thing. I'm going to let you guys know you can watch this again. 
as soon as this is over with, it'll be live up on the video on demand. You'll be able to watch it again. You'll be able to hear the live call-ins from Selena and Melinda and uh, get all the information you can from this. Uh, hopefully next week, uh, live show not recorded. The weekend, uh, the week after that, <coughs> hopefully I'll have another demo up for you and we might use her as the model. So um, give me some feedback, post on my uh, Facebook business page or um, anywhere you can that you can contact me. Uh, send me some feedback. Let me know what you want to see. If you want to see something in a tutorial, you know, give me an idea for something that you want to see. Um, I don't want to do skulls. I did them back to back. That was boring. Um, give me something really great, something that you have problems with. Maybe a design you have. Uh, send me a photo and uh, maybe I'll do something to um, heighten it, make it better, um, really expand on it, you know, help you out with your designs. Uh, in fact, yes, two weeks from now on the Wednesday show, I will demo for you whatever you request to have help with. If you have a hard time with something, drop me a line. Let me know what it is that you're having trouble with, and I will help you out next Wednesday with that. So. Next Wednesday, really uh, the following Wednesday, following Wednesday, next Wednesday is going to be party. Wednesday after that is when I'll do uh, the other thing. So thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys later and uh, watch it again. Bye.